today we're going to be looking at some of the different ways you can film yourself on the water. I'm going to be sailing my moth today and I'm going to have a few cameras attached to me and a few cameras that we can throw and sail past. I've probably seen one of these before, it's a GoPro Hero 5. Um, we're going to be experimenting with putting this on different places in the boat and uh, see what cool footage we can get. <laughs> this is a Garmin Verb 360, it's got two lenses uh, so it'll capture absolutely everything, 360 view. Um, so you should always get the shot you want. So the great thing about this camera is when you're actually reviewing your footage uh, when you get ashore you can move it around and capture exactly what you what you wanted. This is a Crosstor 4K, uh, more budget end of the market. So the idea with this is on this, uh, on this lovely uh, float. You can sail past this camera um, and the good thing about this is you chuck it in the water, sail past it. If you lose it all, the camera's about 20 quid, floats less than 10 quid so it's not the end of the world. This is a Air, AER. It's um, got a GoPro in the front and we're going to be throwing this on the water today, seeing what cool shots we can get. The advantage of this is we can actually get much closer than we could with a, with a drone and, and I guess not such a problem if it hits me. Uh, so we're told this floats, um, hopefully not going to have any problems with that, we'll find out soon. Um, and we're going to do some super slow-mo shots with it and see, uh, see what stuff we get. <laughs> so, um, our second second run with the air um, didn't go quite so well. Uh, it hit the shrouds, so they kind of acted like a cheese wire. We cut it in half, um, <laughs> but it, it, it still floated at that point, so the camera's fine uh, and the boat's fine because it was softer than the boat was. So that's good news. Yeah, kind of a <laughs> mixed review on that. One. Uh, yeah, that that's a it's really really practical actually. Um, because you can just come, you can pick it up yourself if you need to, and drop it in the water. Um, yeah, really good. The only the only flaw with that was it wasn't always facing you, and you didn't really know until you got close which way it was facing. So um, maybe a really good one to have a 360 camera on that one. Uh, but the float itself. Was awesome. 